hello and very warm welcome to yet another video tutorial in today's video tutorial we are going to learn how to add shadow to ui label programmatically in swift 4 we are going to use our previous code that we used in creating ui label pro programmatically so let's start here i have the code so here you can see the label is created programmatically and the font size is given 40 and the height is given 301 so now to let's see what's the initial label look like and here you can see that it's red color and no shadow at the moment so to add a shadow we need only two lines of code and here we say username dot shadow color that is the color of our shadow and we will give it a blue color and second the offset is dot shadow offset it accepts a cg size and here we will pass cg size and the width so we will give a width 2.0 this means that it will the shadow will move will point towards the right hand side two pixel toward right hand side and height to the bottom of the text and see what it looks like so here you can see the shadow is showing so for more effect let's see we will increase it to five pixel toward x-axis means toward right of the text or vector and here you can see now the blue color is looking very clear that it's five pixel toward the right so this is a shadow and if I increase the height means the by axis towards y axis and if, if I give it 5 2 then see now you will see the shadow moves to the bottom of the text So here you can see it's to the on the x-axis to 5 pixel and on the y-axis to the 5 pixels to the bottom. So here if you want it the top then you will provide minus 5 and if you want it to left then give the width value to minus 5. Let's see what will happen. We only gave minus 5 to y-axis and it will now move to the top. So here you can see the shadow moves to the top of y-axis. So here we will give it minus 3 and here 2, 3 and let's see how it looks now. So here now it's looking like a shadow. Now one more thing we will cover in this video. Now you can see that we have given the height 301 and our label is truncating so it's not fitting all the text so for this we have one more property that is username username dot adjust font size to fit width this says a boolean value indicated whether the font size will be reduced in order to fit the title string into the label bounding rectangle so if we set it to true by default it's set to false and now let's see what will happen now you will see the label will show all the text that fits in the bounds that is now here you can see the font get reduced but it shows all the text because in the bounds that is x10 by 40 and width is the screen size minus 20 and height 301 so whatever so if i reduce the height to 201 you will see the font size will get reduced too now you can see clearly that the font size gets reduced so this is one more property we learned today that it adjust font size to fit width and in this video we learned how to give shadow to ui label text programmatically in swift 4 
if you like our video then please do like and thumbs up this video and do share this video and please subscribe to our channel so that you can keep updated for our future video release and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you can get notified for our video updates thanks for watching bye for now